Good afternoon, everyone. Hey, guys, this is Bruce Marshall from Simpler Trading with the nightly market update for Wednesday, January the 18th. So happy Wednesday. Um, it's probably a much happier day if you got short today because this is the market today. Um, we've got a lot going on with you know the overall market and everything and, and data coming out right now. Um, I'm going to talk about what that means and what to look out for coming up soon. Uh, today, let me get this out of the way. Um, well, this is the NASDAQ and this is a yes and they both, you know, I've got, I keep those up side by side. The, the NASDAQ tends to, or the NASDAQ, the NQ tends to lead the ES, so I do tend to watch those both. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, and here's the tick and here's a multi time frame of the tick indicator, but um, watch those on, you know, intraday basis. But um, let's focus over here on the ES. If you're not familiar with that, this is the futures side of the SPX. Um, and this, the light gray is the overnight session. And as you can see, see that light blue line there? That is a voodoo skyline. And we kind of approached it a couple of times in overnight session and kind of chopping around. This is uh, uh, Bank of Japan last night. Uh, left interest rates unchanged and we got a big pop out of that and then just kind of you know went this way but uh, but pre-market at 830 here we had PPI uh, that's 830 I'm Eastern time uh, we had PPI we had retail sales um, we had we had a lot of stuff come out this morning so 915 I guess it was right here uh, we had industrial production 9:30. We had Fed uh, President Bullard um, speaking, and then um, Home Builders Index and business inventories. Okay, I'm looking at all the stuff we got over here. So a lot going on right here early in the morning, and the market did not like it. Um, free fall, free fall, free fall. As you can see up here, the high again. This is the ES. Um, the high up here was about 40, say 35, um, all the way to 39.45. So it's about a 90 point swing from top to bottom. Um, you know, pretty good, pretty good move there. And it was pretty persistent throughout the whole morning. We got a couple of little bounces and they failed, bounce, failed, you know, into the close. Um, basically, we've had a lot of Fed speak and they continue to say that uh, we're going to keep raising rates basically the data that's coming out is not um, on the Fed's side I, I guess is that the, that that's the right way to put it um, the Fed continues to say they're going to keep raising rates I think they're going to overshoot it myself um, they're going to continue to raise rates and you know Again, they're trying to slow things down, but as they raise rates, you know, we know all these things happen, like mortgages, um, you know, uh, rates go up, people aren't able to afford as large a house, and they put off purchases and things like that. Um, so, you know, keep all that in mind. That, that is definitely slowing, going to slow the economy down if it's not already slowing it down. Um, so, coming up on the economic calendar, because we always watch that, right? Uh, we've got a lot of earnings coming out here. Um, earnings season just got kicked off last Friday with all the banks. A lot of big earnings coming out here in the next couple of days. Next week, for sure, lots of big name earnings in the week after. Um, but the big thing we've got, I mean, there's a lot of data points coming out. Tomorrow's jobless claims and building permits and stuff like that. Home sales on Friday. You know, lots of things coming out. But the biggest thing that we've got coming up is on February the 1st right here uh, where, we, where the next Fed meeting is and, the, and of course the Fed is taking all this data into account and then going to come out and say what they're going to do is it going to be you know 75 basis points going to be 50 will it be 25 you know who knows and I, I'm thinking it's probably going to be 50 actually but but we'll see but let me show you how why it's why it's important to the market um, if you notice here now I've got voodoo lines on here, but uh, if you notice this trend, this is a trailing one-year chart, and every time we come up here, we fail, and we're there again. So 
you know, this is a good place to fail. Even if we break through, you see that red line, that's a voodoo fire line. We, we usually have a pretty hard time getting through um, those levels right there. Now, those are based on Elliott Wave, and, you know, they're pretty strong levels. So, you know, the bottom line is if we have um, a more hawkish Fed or Fed is wanting to keep raising rates and all that kind of stuff, um, it's going to keep pressure on the market, and it may also indicate you know a lot more potential problems coming down the road from the housing market and so forth so um, in that case you know we go this way and this trend continues down now it could be broken by fantastic earnings coming out across the board with Amazon and Apple and Google and everybody's just you know doing great I don't really see that happening unfortunately I wish I did but I really don't um, so again, this is we're kind of at a really make or break point, and I think the odds are stacking up maybe a little more in favor for more downside, unfortunately. But I'm not loaded up super short, not yet. Uh, but I'm getting pretty close to to starting to do some things on the short side. I, I did have actually I do have one trade that was short. I took it off today on this on this down on this flush down, but. Um, but again, in the next week or two, if we pop up, especially if we get back up, I thought we might get back up to that red fire line right there, about 4,100. Um, but so far we have not. So, you know, at this point, I'm super light on number of trades. And I'm just kind of watching this because, again, we've got every day we've got, you know, action, action, action with earnings before the market opens, earnings after the market closes, uh, data points being sprinkled in all through there, and then the big anticipation of Fed meeting on uh, February 1st, and then we have payrolls directly after that. So, um, you know, lots coming up. So lately we have been trying to trade, you know, much shorter time frames and, you know, be nimble, take smaller profits, and all that kind of stuff. And that's really working. I mean, it's working very well so far. Um, this year so we continue on you know using that strategy and that theory um, for now until we get a little more clarity and I don't think we will before the next couple of weeks when that Fed meeting happens after that you know and then we'll look for the next CPI meeting or CPI data point so um, that should give us a lot more clarity so um, stay nimble take profits when you can uh, really watch your risk on trades and um, and this market is still very tradable so with that, let me wind it up. I uh, hope that makes sense. Hope it helps. Uh, try if you um, are having trouble with your trading or you just want to learn more about trading, of course, come join us in the trading rooms. Uh, I run a separate room myself called Bias. Uh, I'm in the main room too. And uh, of course, we're there to help. We're putting on trades all the time and you know walking people through that. So try to join us there. Um, also, if you would like to get a little deeper, a little more familiar with uh, chart patterns, um, we have, I want to show you this, uh, a good friend of mine, Chris Brecher, is having a free webinar um, on tonight. And this, Chris is a great tra uh, trader. He's been trading 40 years. So hopefully um, you can jump in and see this. There's Chris, old guy right there. And um, try to try to catch that if you can. It will be recorded, I'm sure. So, um, But try to make it if you can. And uh, with that, let me wind it up. And hope you guys have a great rest of the day. And I will talk to you soon. Take care. Without simpler trading, I could not have financial independence. This is one of the best investments that I ever made in my life. It's helping me find consistency. It's one of the things that won me.